another episode of Storytime. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Ringo, our star tortoise. As you can see, he gets his name from that beautiful star pattern that he has on the back of his shell there, and that's actually why we named him Ringo Star as well. Um, now, star tortoises are actually native to um, India and other parts of Asia, and although he may look like a baby, these guys are actually just a very small species of tortoise. So if you remember in our past story times with Leo, who's a little bigger, or if you've come to visit the zoo here uh, recently and saw our giant sulcata tortoises outside, he won't get to be quite that big. Um, he's going to stay nice and small. And for that reason, sometimes people do um, like to or try to keep these guys as pets. But unfortunately, that's actually one of the biggest challenges for this species. A lot of star tortoises out there are threatened or endangered because people are removing them from the wild to keep as pets. And they don't always make the best pets. They're very, very uh, particular about things. They have to have their food, their heat, their lighting, everything a certain way. So definitely not a good pet to get, especially because they can live a very long time as well. Um, but still a really, really cool animal to see here here at the Utica Zoo. Now today, since we are meeting with a tortoise, our story that we're going to be reading is called The Foolish Tortoise. A tortoise tired of being slow, impatient to get up and go. Took off his large and heavy shell and left it lying where it fell. Hooray, he cried, now I've been freed. I'll see the world at double speed. Though faster, he was not express, and his protection was far less. So when he heard a hornet's drone, the tortoise crept beneath a stone. A hungry bird came swooping past, he looked so fierce and flew so fast. The tortoise hid behind some trees and felt quite weak behind the knees. I don't feel safe, there's too much risk. If only I could be more brisk. He headed for the riverbed. A fish swam up, the tortoise fled. Along his way our hero went and almost had an accident. A snake with open jaws slid near. The tortoise backed away in fear. A hare, a hound, a horse raced by. So rapidly they seemed to fly. The tortoise gasped, sat goggle-eyed. I'll never be that quick, he sighed. He wandered on, the sun rose high. I wish I had more shade, he cried. A sudden thunderstorm swept in and soaked the tortoise to the skin. The wind rose up and soon the breeze was bending branches in the trees. The tortoise shivered, now I'm cold. I wish I hadn't been so bold. I think I've lost the urge to roam. I think it's time that I went home. Without my shell, I don't feel right. So when his shell came into sight, He climbed back in and said, good night. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope that you'll tune in next week for our next episode of Storytime with a new animal and a new story to meet. Um, and be sure to stop by the Utica Zoo this Saturday for our Wildlife Festival. Um, it's being held here at the zoo from 10 to 4.30 um, when we're open and admission is free. So come on by and stop down. Bye everybody.